Some like it hot, some sweat when the heat is on. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and in this installment of Versus, we're pitting winter against summer to see which season we look forward to more every year. Pretty flower. Oh! <laughs> Gosh! For this showdown, note that we'll be talking about the typical classic view of the winter as experienced in the northeastern USA and the typical views of summer with the sun and the heat. Listen, buddy, and you gotta let us in the pool, it's so hot! Try to understand. We are at capacity. Round one, health. <coughs> when winter rolls around, so does cold and flu season. It's all about runny noses, coughing, and chicken noodle soup. Most people end up with some sort of cold, and a fair few end up with the flu as well. Both can be contagious, and if you're not careful, you could spread them around and infect others. It's the gift no one will thank you for. Achoo! <sighs> Schmeez, what's with the schmiffling? Thankfully, there is a plethora of over-the-counter medications that can help you get better fast. And you can even get a shot to help prevent you from getting sick in the first place. When the weather changes from cold to hot, flowers bloom. However, with the flowers comes pollen, one of nature's more beautiful causes of allergies. Look at that. That's more pollen than you and I will ever see in a lifetime. Runny noses, coughing, and sneezing are common in the warmer months, but at least when you're miserable and it's hot out, you're not stuck inside. Unlike colds, allergies are a bit more persistent and can last longer, but they too can be controlled with over-the-counter medication or by enjoying nature from behind a window. Though we can't ignore all the bugs that come out during this time either. At least you can get your vitamin D naturally from all that sunlight. Since you probably won't be taking as many sick days in the summer, the hotter season wins this round. Winner, summer. Round two, outdoor activities and sports. Snow and ice may keep some people indoors, but for others, the coming of these signals the perfect time to pack on the layers and go play some winter sports. Dudes, let's shred. For those who want to hit the slopes, there's skiing and snowboarding, as well as snow tubing. For those who prefer to hit the ice instead, you could always go skating or lace up and play some hockey. But wait, there's more. Maybe you'll want to try ice fishing or see what it's like to live in an igloo. On the other hand, summer is the perfect time for almost any sport. Do you like basketball, baseball, or football? Ooh. How about playing some beach volleyball or hitting the tennis courts? And let's not forget there's always street hockey. Game on! Yeah, game on! If you're not the competitive type, you can always go out for a jog or a swim in a city pool. Or if you're lucky enough to live by the beach, take a dip in the ocean. Then there's camping, fishing, and or roasting marshmallows around the campfire. Come on, who doesn't love s'mores? There are just so many sports and activities to do when it's warm out that we have to give this round to summer. Winner, summer. Round three, seasonal treats, foods, and snacks. We guarantee that winter is your dentist's favorite time of year. What with all the sugary treats and candy that everyone likes to eat when the holidays come around. You're a monster. I'm not the monster here, you are. You and the rest of that fairy tale trash poisoning my perfect world. Gingerbread men, Christmas cookies, candy canes, and other teeth rotting treats are highlights of the snowy months. We elves try to stick to the four main food groups. Candy, candy canes, candy corns, and syrup. When you're done playing in the snow, you could always come in for some hot chocolate, a cup of tea, or a nice mug full of eggnog. And who doesn't love some steaming hot soup to warm you up, whether it's of the chicken noodle, ramen, or split pea variety? Summer also has its fair share of seasonal food, most of which you can get while you're out enjoying the warm weather. If you want to cool down, there are plenty of places that sell ice cream, snow cones, or even popsicles. If you need a quick snack, grab a hot dog or a pretzel from a local stand and wash it down with a nice cool glass of lemonade or sugary iced tea. This is great iced tea. Also, the smell and the products of a good old fashioned barbecue are unbeatable. While those summer delights are all good in their own right, nothing beats the taste of freshly baked holiday cookies. So, winter wins this round. Also, we must remind you to leave some out for Santa with a glass of milk, Natch. Winner, winter. Round four, major holidays. Starting off in December, we have Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa, with New Year's right around the corner. 
you know what? December is just one long celebration. These holidays have a tendency to bring together loved ones and hopefully inspire you to be generous and improve yourselves in the coming year. Cheer up, dude. It's Christmas. After everything dies down in January, February starts off with a weather-predicting groundhog. Morning! Hope to see the groundhog! Followed by the International Day of Love, Valentine's Day. Summer holidays, in North America at least, run a bit more patriotic. Hey, quit it, Hermes. It's Labor Day. Labor Day? That phony baloney holiday crammed down our throats by fat cat union gangsters? That's the one. Hot damn, a day off! The true summer party season is July, where America celebrates Independence Day on the 4th with fireworks and cookouts, while Canadians celebrate Canada Day on the 1st, where they do all of that only with better beer. Geez, these got beer in them, these big kegs? Beer? Oh, yes, beer for, for the party. If you're a student, then you're looking forward to the time off. But that's not really an official holiday per se. The summer. summer. All the roads and summer. the entire summer. season. Though the summer months have some important days, this round ultimately goes to winter. There's a reason we refer to that period in December as the holidays. Winter, winter. Round five, weather. When you think of winter, one of the first things that comes to mind is snow. For children, it's all about building snowmen and snow forts, making snow angels, and having snowball fights. Uh. Although adults can have some fun in the snow, it's more of an inconvenience filled with snow shoveling, snow tires, and dealing with snow-plowed icy roads. Also, with all that ice, you have to be careful not to fall and seriously injure yourself. Kinda wobbly, aren't ya? Of course, you could always use the cold as an excuse to snuggle up under the covers with that cutie you've been eyeing. Okay, Marge, but don't be surprised if a snuggle monster shows up. Well, I hope he's accompanied by the How Was Your Day monster and the Foot Rub monster and the Let Me Just... Don't worry, he's not showing up. Sure, summertime has its own share of weather problems with thunderstorms, hurricanes, and tornadoes in some places, but most of the time it's clear skies and sunny days. Getting to work is a breeze, and you probably get more fresh air and exercise by choosing to walk or bike to your office, as long as you don't live in one of those very humid locations or it's pouring out, of course. Children can have just as much fun outside, especially during their summer vacation, wading in their kiddie pools, jumping on trampolines, and running around at the park. Plus, warm weather lets you shed all those layers of clothing you've been hiding under for months. It's getting hot in here, so, hot. so take off all your we say, warm weather causes fewer problems in the long haul, so we've got to give it to summer here. Winner, summer. By a score of 3 to 2, summer wins. Winter may have its fair share of good times and advantages, but it just can't quite compare to summer. Does our verdict get your blood boiling? Be sure to debate in the comments below, and for more heated versus battles, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I think I have a way for us to beat the heat tonight, Philly style. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Yeah.